Hello, and welcome to Round the Verse, where we showcase the many places you may find yourself while exploring. I'm your host, LeafX, and on this episode, we get frosty with Chance for Beauty. I'm talking about Microtech, a technological powerhouse with hidden military bases to magnificent vantage points. Microtech gives you a little bit of everything. A failed terraforming project brought variety to this frigid planet, as some beauty did manage to poke through the process. The planet got its real start after the UE sold the planet to Microtech in 2865 to help bolster the downturned economy after the terraforming proved too expensive. The UE was worried no one would want to buy it given the much colder than expected climate. But to Magnus Tobin, the founder of Microtech, this was a perfect place for his company's massive server farm. With a highly skilled population focused on innovation and new startup potential, Magnus sought to make New Babbage the hub of it all. So let's start there on our tour across this planetary system. New Babbage is a sight to behold, a rigid city in a frigid climate. You'll be spending most of your time inside though, so be sure to take in the sights if you're flying in. Or from the many vantage points, the beautiful architecture allows while inside. Since you'll find yourself indoors a lot, let's see what New Babbage has to offer. If you come by Microtech for any bit of an extended stay, the Aspire Grand is the choice selection for any traveler, serving you with a cozy hab, medical services, and a direct connection to the Metro Loop. There's no other place quite like it. If you need to do some shopping or just want to relax, hop on the Metro Loop towards the Commons. The Commons is where you'll find food, drink, relaxation, and socializing. Most inhabitants swing by here frequently, as it provides a place of stress relief. The promenade has everything your social life will need, from fashion to nightclubs. Any stress you had before will be gone after taking a trip here. Heading over to Wally's Bar, you'll find lots of tech-savvy folks dancing their way through crunch-induced stress levels, or super-rich venture capitalists looking for the next company to buy. Because unlike planets like Hurston, Microtech allows competing companies to buy and operate land and businesses here, leading to some innovative startups ripe for the picking. This planet is the center of technology in the Stanton system, so it'd be a crime to not talk about one of the greatest tech showcases in the new Babbage Plaza, the factory line. Let's head down to the factory line, where you can shop for the newest tech to suit whatever needs you have. From wearables to ship components, the factory line will keep you up to date. With the essential Moby Glass being Microtech's marquee device, they do a good job of tempting you to buy a new one anytime you swing through. Tucked away in the mountainside is the new Babbage Interstellar Spaceport. Pick up your ship at NBIS or rent one at Regal. Whatever you do, don't forget to buy a Pico the Penguin plush on your way out. Green Alpine, White Mountains. These are all sites you can take in as a result of the failed terraforming of Microtech by the UEE. The original plan was to bring the planet as close to Earth's atmosphere and climate as possible. And while they succeeded with atmosphere, the land itself shows only pockets of success where evergreens, grass, and flowers poke through the soil, 
with help from geothermal heat. Residents find these places to be wonderful camping locations. You won't find many lakes though, as bodies of water are sparse. Look in any direction and you find yourself back to the ice sheets and blizzards, as mountainous areas tower over their greener counterparts. While most see the alpine and meadowed areas as a positive, it almost feels bittersweet. While beautiful, they represent the idea of what could have been. As always, we like to take a journey outside the planets that we cover to the satellites that surround these planets. So let's step outside the frosty planet of Microtech and see what awaits. You'd think that with a mostly oxygen atmosphere that Calliope would be a friendly satellite. But paired with temperatures as low as minus 130 degrees Celsius, you'll want to avoid this place. Even proper thermal suits can fail in this environment. We know most satellites aren't built for human life, but make sure to especially stay away from this one. The only folks that dare come through here are drug runners usually, using the fact that no one comes here as their cover. Cleo gives us a chance at a moon trying its best to replicate Earth. Beautiful mountains with tendrils reaching right to the shorelines. Vast oceans reflecting the light from Stanton. It's enough to make one want to take off their helmet for a clearer view. And they'd be all right for doing so. Its atmosphere mimics Earth's to a T, with a temperature range of minus 50 degrees Celsius to minus 60 degrees Celsius. It's livable as well, with shelter granted. On our last stop, we visit Euterpe. Euterpe takes notes from her sisters, the cold from Calliope and the atmosphere from Cleo. But to have her own identity, she's raised defenses in form of large ice structures spiking into the sky. Euterpe tends to be a common destination though for extreme camping enthusiasts, as it offers danger with a safety net, unlike Calliope. Now, while we didn't cover everything the Microtech system has to offer, we hope this quick journey has shed some light on the beauty and hope Microtech represents for the future of technology and humankind. With many other points of interest, like Jericho or Port Tressler, we hope you find yourself exploring this area. Microtech is an incredibly busy planet filled with technology, innovation, and wild dreams. A mistake turned into an advantage really sets the tone for what to expect when visiting this exciting planet. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you back for the next episode of Round the Verse. <laughs>